Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Following the Parkland school shooting, the legislature sprung into action. In addition to increasing funding for mental health screening, part of a new law passed in the wake of the tragedy requires school districts to ask students to report if they've ever received mental health services. They want that information that's critical to, for them to be able to ensure safety in the schools. The language in the law is vague, leaving many questions unanswered, like what exactly needs to be reported. We don't know why they want it, so if we knew what the intent was, it could help narrow down the types of information that, that need to be reported. Another uncertainty is how the information will be used. Some parents are afraid that putting that information on their, in their child's record could impede them from getting into college or enlisting in the military. I don't think either of those things are true, but there's a misunderstanding about what that information could could do for a child. The Department of Education hasn't provided much guidance, saying in statements that the department is leaving the decisions to local school districts. When we tried asking Education Commissioner Pam Stewart about the issue, she declined. Call over. We reached out to the Department of Education but didn't hear back. Some mental health advocates are raising concerns that the new law could lead to children being stigmatized. There is a stigma, so people think it's going to be looked down upon and kids could be judged. We don't, they don't know who will have access to that information. While awaiting clarification, some districts say they'll include a single box on registration forms indicating whether students have received services. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.